Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at burning the CDs to outer images as this can be a very useful skill to know especially in the IT profession where you might be dealing with systems for example servers or desktop PCs. What this also will then allow us to do is allow us to be able to create backups of those important CDs and even USB sticks that we might have accumulating with regards to things like Windows or Microsoft Office etc. And just allows us to be able to create an archive of these files. So first we take a CD out of the pouch and what we do is we pop that into the CD-ROM drive. What this is going to do is it's going to load up the CD, it might auto play. If it auto plays, just close it, go into your web browser and this, what I want to do is I want you to put in any burn, official download, and click enter. From your web browser perspective, it will then show you the any burn website. Just go into it, make sure it's the official site. And then we are just going to click on the 64-bit download. Obviously, if you're 32-bit, you would need to go for that. Once that is finished downloading, you can then go into the location, which is your download folder, and you can now open the file by running it as administrator. I'm not specifically going to do that here because it's already installed, but really it will just load the program and just click next, 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 next until it is completely installed. Once you're done with this, what you then do is you can then go into any burn, click on tasks, and then go down to copy disk to image file. So you'll notice you've got your disk, which is your D drive, and your image file, which is going to be your ISO file. You'll notice the name of the ISO file as well, and we will be changing this shortly. Create a folder on your desktop, which is what we're doing now. This is called ISO and Images. Go into the folder, and once you're done with that, you can rename the ISO to anything you like. We will just name it as Windows 8.1, or uh, this is for Windows 8.1. Obviously, you can't have a dot in there, uh, so Windows 8.1, and we can then click OK. Now that we have all the information put in, and we have the location when the ISO will be stored, we can then click Create. So while this is creating, uh, we can just sit back and watch and just relax. This is going to happen relatively quickly because I've actually sped up the video at this particular point. But as I said, this is just so that we can actually archive the file. This means that now if the CD is broken or it gets scratched or if something goes wrong with it or it goes missing, it means that we do have a copy of that specific ISO image. Again, this just makes life a lot easier because you might lose track of specific versions. And so uh, this means that you always have one available to you, which you can keep backed up onto a separate drive um, or cataloged in some way. This is, again, very, very useful for things like enterprise and uh, companies, etc., where you might not necessarily upgrade every single package and every single version of Windows um, as soon as the new one comes out. So you might have to sometimes backward install in order to have a certain product or a certain program work. Perhaps you are looking for an older spreadsheet or something like that that was in some sort of weird program at the time. So you might um, have to install an older operating system in, in order to be able to install that old program in order to then be able to load up that old data. It, it varies. There are various different reasons why you might do things like this. So we're now at 91%. We're just finishing up the, the last few little um, ends, little bits and pieces here. So with that, we have now then created it. And on that folder, you then see the ISO file. So that Windows 8.1 is what we've just created, and that was in the ISO and images folder that we had created earlier. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon.